Hey there, everybody. Thanks for watching another video. I'm Rivka Slatkin. I'm Shlomo Slatkin. And for those of you that are listening on audio on our podcast, Can This Marriage Be Saved? Um, welcome to another great episode. Today we are going to talk about what to do when your wife won't talk to you. Whether she's giving you the silent treatment or you just have no idea what's going on, but she is not responding to you, what can you do? So, Shlomo, you're the marriage counselor. <laughs> I'm your wife. Take it away. <laughs> yeah, when your spouse is not talking to you or giving you, to the, giving you the silent treatment, it can be extremely uncomfortable, um, to say the least. And it's always a question, you know, what do I do? Do I, you know, do I reach out? Do I try to engage? Is it better just to give space? I think that you know, probably know in, in your history, in your relationship, how things have worked. You know, normally what happens when a person is in the space where they don't want to talk, um, so it could be they're not they're upset about something, um, they're not feeling safe, um, there could be a lot of anger pent up. Uh, so you have to know in the past what have you done that's been most successful. Sometimes it's better just to give a little bit of space until things cool off. Uh, at the same time, you know, trying to be friendly, trying to be nice, uh, but not expecting any kind of change in return. Uh, and then for, for others, um, you may need to actually pursue your spouse and try to engage and ask them what they need and <laughs> ask them if they want to talk. I'm just realizing yeah, I that I think... What do I do with you? Okay, so I think you do that with me sometimes. I, I mean, I really, really try to never get in this, you know, state because you, you, with all the work that we've done on our marriage over the last almost 19 years, I know that, you know it's not good to just give someone the silent treatment when you're angry and it's good to use your words and it's good to communicate in a safe way but sometimes if I get extremely angry I do know that like in that moment I do not want to talk to you and I know in the past like that's when you've started to sort of pursue me like can I get you a hot drink would you like a tea and then sometimes I just <laughs> you, keep, Collapse, you yeah. keep asking and then it's like I sort of melt because I can't yeah. resist like a hot cup of tea when I'm feeling very emotional and very moody so I just realized I'm laughing because in the advice you're giving it's kind of describing some Pers things. personal advice <laughs> spoke from, so spoken from experience but it works I mean yeah I, I, I find it's like there's first of all to defend myself is not going to make it better it's going to make it worse so what I typically do is I try to you know kill with kindness in the sense that doing acts of service, um, just being kind, being nice, doing things, trying to go out of my way to be helpful with the hope that at some point um, the mood will change. And th inevitably the mood does change, and it's important to realize that because uh, usually people aren't going to give you the silent treatment uh, permanently. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not, though it does sometimes happen. And, and when that's the case, I mean, ultimately, if you're in that situation, it's important to be able to work on your relationship and learn how to be able to communicate better uh, because you don't want to get to a place where the silent treatment. So sometimes when I'm working with couples, they'll say, you know, since we've begun this process with you, you know, it used to be that we'd have, we'd have a fight and then, you know, we wouldn't speak for, you know, a week. And now it's like, you know, two hours. So it's progress. So the idea is that working on your relationship, being able to work through the issues, learning how to communicate more effectively, learning how to feel heard and understood, helps change the dynamic so that you're not having these, you're not kind of acting out. Right. Um, and it, if, yeah. if you're the person that is giving the silent treatment, ignoring your spouse, you know, for weeks on end, that's not okay. And if that's happening, you know, of course you have a reason to be angry and I'm, I'm sure, you know, whatever you feel absolutely makes sense but in the end that behavior does not help you in the long run and it, it behooves you to learn how to express your feelings in a safer way but on the flip side it can be hard because in the past maybe you, um, you know the person listening hasn't listened to you that in a way that made you feel safe so it's kind of like a chicken or egg you know who acts first um, who, you know do I take a risk and share when my partner maybe is not going to respond in a safe way. Um, you know, who should go first, I guess? Well, that's why if you have a process, I mean, one of the things that I feel like we, because we, you know, when we did learn the Imago Dialogue when we first got, well, about, two, um, about 17 years ago when we start, started going to counseling, um, you know, that gave us a tool so that we know if, and you know, that we know that we can have that to fall back on, uh, or we know that we can know how to listen to each other, or the person who is less triggered 
and kind of take the weight of the relationship at that moment. But if you don't have any support in that way, then it becomes very challenging and it's confusing. Uh, but I would say it's always important if, for us, to, for everyone to be more conscious about their emotional reality, what bothers them, and be able to articulate it in a safe way and be able to say what you're feeling as opposed to lashing out and lashing out in rage or anger or just ignoring the other person. It's not helpful in the long run for your relationship. It just it kind of tears the relationship when you're having those, either the outbursts or the ignoring, the silent treatment, um, the stonewalling. It, it really tears the relationship apart. And you know you can keep fighting and coming back and coming back if you're really committed. But the less committed you are, it's going to be hard, hard to give you that motivation to keep fighting. fighting. And after a while, you can get in one of these, a place where it's kind of just like, no, I love you, I care about you, but you know, like I'm, I'm not really so connected with you anymore, because of all, the, you know, all of these repeated occasions where where there's been this, you know, ignoring and silent treatment. So you're saying, like over time, this really is yeah. the type of thing that will eat away at a couple's connection and ability to connect, and so really, the a couple needs to learn these safe ways of communicating. The dialogue process that we're talking about, the method that we learned 17 years ago is called the Imago Dialogue. And we do talk about that in some of our past episodes, podcast episodes, as well as videos. If you have any questions, you can always reach us on our website, themarriagerestorationproject.com. You can contact us. You can ask us more about it. But when a couple meets with Shlomo, he leads them in this structured way of communicating and it's very safe because one person will share and the other person cannot respond. The other person merely reflects back what is being said until they have deeply heard it and understood it. And it's such a relief um, for couples because they don't need to have that go back, going back and forth anymore or the stonewalling or the silent treatment, but the, they can both show up for each other in a way that is safe and communicative and it's a game changer. So if you haven't looked into Imago therapy, we definitely recommend that you do. We have tons of resources for you, um, starting from free to our private couples retreats that Shlomo does online with couples. But we definitely have lots of options for you along the path. And even a kind of a DIY, uh, DIY course where you can actually see videos of us practicing the dialogue and kind of learn the steps on your own too. Yeah, so we hope this was helpful for you if you're wondering what to do if your wife won't talk to you um, and you're just kind of walking on those eggshells not really knowing what to do. Shlomo mentioned kind of killing with kindness, you know, being the more mature one to show up and and do some caring behaviors for the partner and even if she doesn't respond. Just keep it up and, you know, it can be lo a lonely path, but if you can be the one that's going to you know, be the best that you can be in a relationship, you kind of hold the space for, for both both of you until your partner kind of gets gets back on board. And, yeah, and, and I, think, healthier. I think you can also say to her maybe a week later or a few days later when you're having maybe date night or it's a good spot, say, honey, you know, remember that time like we didn't speak for two days? Like that made me feel really sad and yeah. I'd really like to work with you so I can be a better husband to you. Um, you know, would you consider going on a retreat with me, like specifically our online couples retreat? Or, you know, would you consider working with a therapist to, so we can work together so I can show up and be a better husband to you? That might work later, not obviously in the moment. Right. And even if you're not trying to ask to go to, to therapy, just even, I want to work on this with you. I want to be able to, like, this is really painful for me when you ignore me. And I want to understand what you need so that we don't have to get to this place. Mm. So what could I do to be able to be there for you when you're in that space so we don't have to have that you know, silent treatment? I think that's really helpful. So thank you. Thank you, Shlomo. Okay. Thank you, listeners. Thank you for um, listening to another episode of Can This Marriage Be Saved and watching videos over at the Marriage Restoration Project. We look forward to hearing from you. And as always, send in any questions that you'd like to cover us to cover for a future episode at themarriagerestorationproject.com. Take care. Bye-bye.